In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus NiCl2. This is sodium phosphate and nickel 2 chloride. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. I can see I need to put a 3 in front of the nickel 2 chloride, so that'll balance those. Now I have 6 of these chlorine atoms. I'll put a 6 here. I could put a 2 here, and I think, yep, this equation is balanced. So we have the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the states. Sodium compounds, they are aqueous or soluble. They dissolve in water, split apart into their ions. And the same with compounds with chlorine, almost always soluble or aqueous. They will split apart into their ions. Compounds with phosphate tend to be insoluble. The exceptions are elements in group one and ammonium phosphate. So in this case, this should be insoluble, which means it'll be a solid. When this reaction takes place, it'll form the solid, it'll be a precipitate, it'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. So we write soluble, we won't split this apart. And then sodium chloride, that is aqueous. So we have our states, now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation, sometimes called the total ionic equation. So sodium is in group one on the periodic table, one plus, and the phosphate, that's always three minus. So we have two times three, six sodium ions, and I'll write aqueous at the end, I won't write that now, plus two of the phosphate ions. The chloride ion is always a one minus, and we have two of them, so the nickel is two plus, that's why we were calling it nickel two. So we'll add three times the one nickel ion, three nickel two plus ions, plus three times two is six chloride ions. So these are the reactants. In the products, we said we don't split solids apart when we do net ionic equations. So we have Ni3PO4 two plus six times the one, remember we said plus and minus there, so six sodium ions, plus six chloride ions. So this is the total or complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. These are ions that appear on both sides of the chemical equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. In the reactants, we have six sodium ions. In the products, we have six sodium ions. Cross them out. We have six chloride ions in the reactants, six in the products. Cross them out. But everything else is unique. So this is going to be the net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus NiCl2. Let me clean this up and I'll write the states in and then we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium phosphate plus nickel 2 chloride. Our charge is conserved and the number of atoms, they're conserved as well. This is a balanced net ionic equation. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.